Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel and to some more Horizon Forbidden West. And we actually made it to the, you know, I don't know, bunker, ship, I don't know what this is, but we're in here. Um, Silas did tell us that Hades told him that there might be a Gaia back up here that wasn't actually, you know, destroyed with the signal. And we destroyed Hades, so... We got that out of the way, and we actually got to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. <laughs> right, here we go. Um... Here we go. Um, it looks like I probably may have to go the other way around. All right, we made it. Doors locked. There's some kind of device next to it. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. Huh, this might be it. An energy cell. This is new. That did it. Okay, we're back outside. Why is it so bright? I wonder if I can take it out. Will it keep the door open? Yes, awesome. Right, let me put this in here and see what happens. Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What's above what me? What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples. Well, the costs are off the charts. I'm going to move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Babe Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get... Oh, I accidentally stopped the audio. That's not going to budge from here. I dropped it. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. I dropped it and I didn't want to drop it. I actually wanted to get the loot on the other side. But it looks like we need some power cells. This console shut down. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. I don't think I can get that cell up here. To be honest.
This is not good. Um, I gotta figure something out here. Right, nothing there. It's a dead end. Focus might find something I missed. Oh, there we go. I didn't see that earlier. Right, awesome. Jump on that. There we go. Back a bit. So this one goes all the way down there to that one, which opens the door. Oh, okay. It just circles back. Okay. So we can get the parasol from here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it does need to go down there. Okay, so we'll just go down there with it. And now, um, since we do need power here, we can just put it in here for, for a bit. just loot awesome so I'm gonna have to keep a look I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for those and this should go right to the door Elizabeth and Travis Tate yo everything has power now oh boy I tell you Liz what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lack. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mom was grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. I don't think she was bad. There's no way she could be bad. We got a door there that we cannot do anything about. Um. Don't 
hoping my pole caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. That's no good. Can't use the pole caster on that. Yo, this is so weird. This is just way too crazy for me. Um, I don't like all this jumping sometimes. I can't make that jump. But if I glide... Right, jump and hold, okay. Yo! That is so cool. That's the first time I've done that. Okay, let me see. Um, how am I gonna get back up here? Like that, okay. I don't think I'm gonna get to the door from here. Here we go. I just had to get that loot. that do I have to jump down there never mind there's more of the facility over there I better take a look yo that gliding is so useful I love how they're just putting it into use, like, you have to use it. It just opens up a whole new way of playing, of doing things. And it's, I like it. What's in here? There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? data here from Travis Tate this place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over right um what else is here enter code it looks like this is connected to the door it needs a code to open Interesting. I wonder. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hap, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was going to tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> hmm, maybe try my focus. Hmm. 
Maybe I should check my data points. Um, data points. Could it be this one? Uh, 7482? Could that be it? Awesome. All right. Um, no loot here. Let me check back here real quick. No. Oh, come on, Aloy. What is she doing? There we go. Nothing here. I think scanning those things are gonna play a big part now. There's the door. Getting close. Oh, let's drop this. That way we don't have to just come back all the way over here. Drop down. Mm. What am I doing? Why am I not able to jump? We got nothing there. It's obvious that I have to go, I have to go to the one of one of these, but I just can't jump from up here. I can't pull it. Well, I can. It makes sense. 
Okay. Here we go. Right, so... Right, okay, made it. so much for the flooded maze. I made it. Then proceed. As I did get the loot over works. there. It wasn't that all that good, but we got it. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soda. Please step inside. Yo, look at this place. What in the world is that? That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let the back up. Start looking. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. I don't like this guy. I, I think he's some he's up to something else. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That oh, doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Wait, there's some loot. I didn't see it till now. It looks like we got more over here. This might be a fight, to be honest. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm. It's not exactly stable. Let's hope you haven't damaged it. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. No, no, no. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected us. Root kernel. No subordinate functions. It's not a full backup. No. More like a seed. Which Gaia's mind could grow if it had some functions with which to form a heuristic matrix. So it's useless? I'm afraid so. Without sub functions. Ugh! Aloy, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without sub functions, but there are sub functions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. Oh, but I do. A good one. If it works. Uh. It was worth it.
We found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. <laughs> Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. <laughs> Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it, don't want it. But the if it- Nope, one's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh. No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. 
You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. Yo, who are these people? Oh my god. I'm you not hurting him. Didn't you? I need a way yeah. out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. Oh my god, what is that? I can break the coverings holding that thing up. You ready, little mouse? Go! That's not gonna help you, girl! Oh my god. This kill's all mine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo. Another one down. What are you up to? Come on, Eric. Leave me alone, bro. Here, Here we go. Come on, shoot at me. Not that rig. Got it. Quit fooling around. All right, how many do I got left? Uh. These aren't training guns. Oh. Not the same. It's feeling hurt. <laughs> Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. <laughs> Come on. Come at me. Ugh. Gotta cut the main stem. Now I need more. Yeah. How? Hurt. How do I cut it? Wish it didn't have to end this way. The stem's got a few couplings holding it up. I need to cut them off. Yeah. Oh my god. He almost got me. Uh, looks like there's two more couplings on the stem. <laughs> Fight me! Not that dumb machine! Yo, this guy's so annoying. I don't know who these people are. Just one more? But it looks like they have a clone. They have like another clone. Kind of looks like us. Really? <laughs> I'm not hurting him. Oh. Yeah! Pain subsiding. <laughs> Get away from me. We were made for each other, little. If that thing comes down, it's only gonna kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. <laughs> God damn it! What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search.
great. Now it's sending the machine after us. I gotta find a way out of here. Oh no, I need air. There. Shit! There. There's a current. Is it heading for an exit? Oh my god. Come on, bro. What the hell are these things? Okay. Um, I have no idea where to go, what to do. I'm really panicking here. Search for a way out. My oxygen it goes down so fast. Open door. Which way am I going here? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're safe. So Silas knew about these people and he didn't tell us until, we're in, until they got there? So he knows about him and didn't even oh, warn us to the end. It's about to get I don't think we can fight those things right now, to be honest. You know what? I think we have air right here. Yes, we're good. Okay. <laughs> right, hopefully I don't have to fight those things. Right, looks like we're going this way. Looks like some kind of power room. A currents lead here. Promising. I gotta, I gotta just run. Oh, it's right here. Right, we got two skill points. Awesome. Perfect.
It's okay. I'm here. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plain Song. There trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave.
You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're going to lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. <laughs> a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. It must be... Overfertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. 
I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So wait, it's not a uh that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <clears throat> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? guys so um i'm gonna end it here before i do that let's just spend this skill point um we can go with warrior looks like we have three um what is this um We gotta gotta fight a lot better here. So we got that done. Um, things are getting crazy. Some new people just came out of nowhere. They look like they're from the future, outer space. I have no idea. But um, we don't know. 
We don't know. It looks like they have a clone of Aloy or Elizabeth. I don't know who is who, but... Um, Silas says they want the same thing. Um, I don't know how true that is. We don't know what their intentions are. But I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, Stuff comment. Let me know what you guys think and subscribe so you guys don't miss the new one. And I will see you guys on the Never next one. Been.